I have heard some people think that God is partial. Some people think that God loves some people more than the other people. Because why will somebody pray and God will answer him? And another person pray and pray and pray. And it seems as if God is not answering that one. Does God love those ones? He answered their prayers more than those he did not. You see some people, they give testimony. Somebody shoot a gun, but they didn't die. The gun didn't enter. Other people, you know, Christians also who love the Lord, they were shot dead. Is God partial? Good morning. And you are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the owner of the universe, your father, my father, put a word in my mouth again this morning to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. My prayer is that this morning, God will give you the grace to understand his word. God will empower you to do great things. God will take you from low level to a high level. God will make your life and whatever you do in life to be relevant. You will not be a victim of circumstance. God will give you victory on every side. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Is God partial? When you look around the world, you're going to see that God is a wise God. The creation is built with perfect, you know, with God's perfection. Day and night will never cease. Winter and cold will never cease. You know, harvest, you know, time to plant and time to harvest will never cease. The world is running on its own because of the magnificent wisdom of God. And so when you look at humankind, you want to see some people think that God loves them more than other people. But this morning, I want you to understand, is God partial? Let's look at it this way. When you get into the Bible, the very first you know, person that was killed was somebody who loved God. His name was Abel. Abel and Cain, the brother, they went to God to make a sacrifice. The sacrifice of Abel was good. God commended Abel. Abel had done the right. Meaning, if he had done the right, God must have loved him. Cain was not commended because, according to God, he has not offered the sacrifice as properly as he ought to have done. And so, Abel was, you know, commended. But what happened? Cain killed his brother Abel. But God was looking on. God was looking on while a good man was killed. God was looking on while the man that was commended by heaven was being assassinated. Now let me give you other examples. In the beginning of Christianity, people hate the word of God. They didn't like the message of Christ. Even though the message of Christ has brought solution and salvation to many people. The message of Christ has healed so many sick people, raised the dead, turned mourning family to happy families because of creative healing miracles that was taking place by the ministry of the church. Yet, the people in government hate the church. And so many of the church people were arrested. Some were killed by the sword. Some were killed by feeding their flesh to the lions. And some died a very, very most miserable death. And God was looking on while these people die. In modern times, I've seen people who lost their lives because of their faith in God. And yet God didn't do something. God was looking on. I have seen some people, they give testimony. Somebody attacked them and shoot the gun, but the gun would not answer. The gun would not respond to kill them. God delivered them. Does God love these ones more than the other? Does God love him more than those who died? Let me tell you, 
The Bible says, you do not know the way of God. He says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8, you don't know what God is doing under the sun. He said, if a wise man thinks to know it, he won't find it out. God knows what he is doing with your life and with my life. Let no man deceive you. God is not partial. The fact that you say, but I prayed and prayed and prayed. God have not had me see. My brother didn't even pray as much as I prayed. And yet, God have done it for him. God love him more than me. See, you don't understand the plan and the purpose of God. God created you. You came from him. You are part of him. Why would he hate you and love your brother? Why would he? You see, let me ask you a question. Do you love your hand more than your leg? Do you love your, your, do, 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 do you, do, do you love your hand more than your leg? I'm sure you love your body. You love every part of your body because if you think your hand is not relevant, let it be caught. You will understand how relevant your hand is. And if you think your leg is not relevant, when you cut the leg, you will understand how relevant your leg is. Every part of your body is relevant to you. Every human being on planet Earth is relevant to God. Why? Because we came from God. God is not partial. God cannot be partial. He is God and he is the maker of all. He is the creator of all. Even those you don't recognize, those you think they are down, those you think they are nothing, God still loves them and cares for them. God is not partial. Have you prayed and nothing is happening? Have you begged God and no answer? Let me tell you, God is not partial. God is not partial. When you understand this and you begin to look and pray for God's purpose, because sometimes the thing you are asking for may be the thing that will kill you. Sometimes the thing that you are driving for is the thing that will end your life. But God knows the end from the beginning. And God doesn't give it to you because he knows. He still have a purpose for you. It is not good for you to die at this time. So I'm not going to give you that thing right now because if you get it right now, now, enemies are too much. They're going to kill you before your time. But because I want to use you, I'm going to deny you for some time. God is wiser than you. God is not partial. Have you not seen some great men who worked for God all their days? But when they die, you begin to wonder why should they die? Why should they die this way? Why should they die doing the work of God? Why should they die doing the right thing? I don't know why. And I don't know whether you know why, but I don't know why. But I know God knows all things and God is not partial and God is a wise God. God knows what is good for you. Sometimes death is good for you. Sometimes to die now may be better for me than to continue to live. See, let me tell you, until you understand the mystery of God, you will continue to complain. Until you understand the wisdom of God, you will continue to complain that God does not love me. God loves my brother more than me. Stop it. No, God doesn't love him more than you. But he's richer than me. Yes, it doesn't matter. He doesn't love him more than you. But what God is saying, have you learned the critical lesson? Have you seen what I want you to see? Have you learned what I sent you to this world to learn? He didn't send us to come and make money. Money is important. We love. We know money is good. We need it. But that's not why we are here. There are some things that are more important. God wants you to learn. And God is asking, have you learned a lesson? My son, my daughter, have you learned a lesson? Have you seen what I want you to see? 
But you're saying, but God, I'm praying, I need a child. You have not given me a child. Now I'm getting old. God, you don't love me. You have not given me a child. And God is saying, have you learned what I want you to learn? You are crying for a child, but I'm crying for your soul. You are crying for a baby, but I'm crying for your eternal soul. I am interested. I love you more than you love that baby. I love you more than you love that money. I love you more than you love that job. I love you, says the Lord. Think about it. This is the message this morning. This is what God has sent me to deliver to you. I know you have heard. Please rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenunga. May God continue to bless you, partners. If somebody sends this to you and you love this and you want me to send it directly to you, just save this number with I Prevail. Plus 27740302381. Save it right now. Go to your WhatsApp and just or Telegram and just send me this simple message. Add me. From tomorrow, you will receive this directly from me. And if this message is a blessing to you, you want to be a partaker, you want to sow a seed or be a partner with me so that we can have more finance to run this ministry and make this message go to more people around the world. Just WhatsApp that number and say partner. And God will bless you for every seed you sow to this ministry. Thank you once again. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.